Uh, the Buddha said many times, he who sees the Dhamma sees me. He who sees me sees the Dhamma. Yeah? The story goes that there was a, a monk, and Vakkali. This monk used to come and sit in front of the Buddha and simply admire the Buddha's physical presence. The Buddha was a very, very beautiful being. And this guy was simply interested. One day the Buddha stopped and said, Vakkali, what are you doing here? Yeah, always looking at my face. And Vakkali said, I am not interested in the Dhamma, I'm interested in the body, in you, your physical presence. And the Buddha said at that point, what do you gain by looking at this physical body which is full of flesh and blood and all defilements. Yeah? Don't look at my body. Look at my teaching. That is the Dhamma. So when we look at these relics and all of that, they inspire us, they make us connected to the Buddha. One of the important, which, which, which was recognized very early on by the Buddhists is that the very early Buddhists didn't have any of this. They were already very advanced, all right? And they were able to go into Samadhi. Most of the, the teaching was uh, aimed at monks and nuns who were into the spiritual life. So they didn't need. But as Buddhism became a popular religion with the masses, and the masses were important to support the, the, the structure, all of this required the laity. And the laity needed something to hold them together, to draw them. And the best thing that could draw them, of course, was the Buddha image. When devotional Buddhism began to grow with the development of Mahayana Buddhism, yeah, the need arose to physicalize this concept of the Dhamma. And the image of the Buddha came about of a person who is meditating. But the Buddha said that, even today, all these objects are simply skillful means. They cannot give you enlightenment. Enlightenment can only come with the development of the mind. But the development of the heart is important because it supports. So, sraddha, yeah, confidence, faith, is important, but it is not you cannot stop there. You have to move from that to the, just like the Buddha told Vakkali, he who sees the Dhamma sees me. Also, the Buddha image is uh, important to us to help us to focus. Remember, the stupa was sila, samadhi, panya, noble eightfold path. The Buddha image, the seated Buddha, same thing. Yeah? Sila, Samadhi, Panya, and a, a triangle. The base supports your spiritual life. The Dhamma and Samadhi, concentration of the mind, physical, mental, wisdom. So the Buddha image is in the seated Buddha image is very, very closely related to the shape of the stupa. So all of which you can say is skillful means. But there's not the only way to nirvana. And the Buddha image inspired them. Yeah? Uh, not not to really notice that even if you don't know it, when you look at a Buddha image, the calmness is the first thing that hits you. You don't need to be conscious of it. It's that, that aspect, that psychological aspect of this which we say, Buddha in my heart. The Buddha in my heart is the development of the Dhamma. Yeah? Remember, however, that do not think this Buddha image has any magic power. Yeah? We treat it with a great deal of respect. We create a lot of respect because 
we know what it represents. Yeah? Keeping the Buddha image and praying to the stone, people say that we are idol worshippers. We are not idol worshippers. We use that symbol to help us as a means to get across.